Hey guys, how are you doing today? So today, I have got another video. I'm gonna do a spring wish list. Wish, 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 wish list. Again, these are gonna be from today supermarket brands. So we got two, is that how you say it? I never know how to say it. From Sainsbury's, George, Asda, um, F and F, but not very because they don't sell online and they do sell on next, but not men's. So that's not great. Uh, nutmeg from Morrison's and I also look into M&S as well which I know is not really a supermarket but it is kind of a supermarket so we're lumping it into this video. So I'm going to start with George. Now I have done some videos previously, uh, one video from George um, which wasn't very successful, this was when I actually went into the physical store but today we're going to do come shop with me online um, and I have got a nice... Um, half zip which is from Christmas or quarter zip or whatever but it's a Christmas one so obviously I'm not gonna wear that now um but first thing is this Adapt there seems to be a brand on George called Adapt which is I think in collaboration with Professor Green Pro Green um this is a grey marsh wet shirt for £16 so this is going to be when I found going through these, apart from M&S, which is a bit high priced, um, these brands are higher priced than like Primark and kind of higher slash on the same level as like H&M. Um, whereas like this sweatshirt, depending, I don't know what the quality was, but Adapt seems to be a bit more pricey on George anyway. Um, this kind of just a normal sweatshirt in uh, Primark would be six to eight pounds. Um, they're just the normal ones, like the ones that they have laying out in all different colours, around six to eight pounds. Whereas, like some that have got more detailing on, might be 12, 10 to twelve. So this is sixteen, but it's uh, in a nice. Uh, it says mild sweatshirt, but what what's the colour they say this is? Not really any colour, but it's a light grey white. I also found these knockoff uh, Birkenstocks on um, George, which are like all matte. Actually, I don't know if they are matte black, but they're all black rather than having like a cork coloured base. These were £6, which I thought was quite a good deal. Jeans wise, on George, found these, which are a slim wash in a blue faded denim. These are around £14, well, these are £14, not around, um, which is comparable to Primark. Primark jeans are around the 10, they can go up between, depending on what they are, 10 to 20 from my memory obviously I haven't been to Primark in a while now I found this jacket was the only like spring appropriate jacket on George and they've got it in a nice like cream colour 20 pound but then this teal I love this I re I'm really considering buying this teal is my favourite colour but this it's just like a lightweight zip through windbreaker um but I really like I just really like this um my favourite colour, it's got very long zips if that, yeah, the very long zips all the way down for pockets, I mean, and I wonder if it's got an inside pocket, but I really like that, £20 like this would probably be what, 15 in Primark, so a little bit more expensive, I'm comparing everything to Primark because I suppose supermarket fashion brands kind of compete with the likes of Primark, H&M, that kind of thing. They did have some overshirts. We know overshirts is quite a big trend that was from last year that's carrying on to this year. Um, this one's £20. This is the Adapt one. Um, here's Professor Green modelling it. It's a zip-through one, this one, and it is in black. And I like the way they've styled it with that striped jumper. Not jumper, t-shirt. Um, polo shirts is something that I've seen in a lot of places as well. This one has got a zip on it. This is £10 um, in a nice navy. I wouldn't say that's navy. I would say that's more of a... Because navy, I think, darker than that, um, I feel. Um, and they had some more jeans that I found which were quite nice, which are non-skinny, as we found in my previous videos. I want to try the non-skinny trend of jeans which are more like straight fit these are tapered these are 14 pounds in a nice light wash and again there's some more jeans here that are a bit more expensive at 18 pound in a light blue faded wash these are straight but they don't look too baggy like the ones we saw in seeing in my previous um where i'm linking that uh wish list video those were proper vintage 90s straight in my opinion this shirt, now this is more on comparable with Primark pricings at 
£8 for this shirt which has got some interesting floral detailing which is quite nice and this other polo top which is a long sleeve one in a grey this is £14 charcoal zip this one is it's got that zip detailing again £14 and I really like this polo shirt which is like the reverb is that not that collar's called um, where it's not got buttons on the collar it's just kind of open this is £10 in a nice teal colour which my fave um, and then I found this other jacket which was in the adapt section which um, is both in beige and a navy I believe is it navy? navy, this is £26 but it looks very thick and nice quality moving on to TU2 how do you say that? Did you tell me? Someone did tell me in the comments the other week. But this is Sainsbury's brand and I found Sainsbury's to be a bit more expensive than, say, George was. But I did find some nice pieces at the beginning when I was looking. Because I looked in all the new in sections, really, that's what I was looking at. Um, because new in, hopefully it would be like spring appropriate. I found it was very, there was a lot of basics um, on two, which is good. But there was also some nice pieces, like I found this light blue Oxford um, polo shirt which is in a really nice colour this was £12 this shirt I thought was really nice it's very similar to a shirt that I've got from H&M which I got last year H&M would have been I believe a lot cheaper than £16 which is this is what this is priced at um, I think I can't remember what the price of that was that uh, like Hawaiian floral shirt I bought last year and did I say ignore my hair I've literally just watched it by the way um this belt which I thought was particularly nice it's a bit pricey for like uh what well, is eight pounds which for me seems a bit pricey for a supermarket belt but it was a really nice woven beige stone color which I thought was really nice but on cheap belts I always find that they might crack because they're not real leather and stuff so I find like the fake leather cracks a lot um I did see these blue linen rich chambray straight leg trousers which I thought would be really nice for summer although they're straight leg um I would prefer them to either be a skinny or a slim but and these were a bit more expensive at 18 pound but I guess they are linen um this shirt I thought was really nice it's like a white with light blue kind of faded looking um print on it which is a parrot again these is 18 this is 18 pound even um it seems all the shirts on sainsbury's were around the 18 pound i did find this one as well which is a tropical floral print I'm not sure what i feel about this because it's like roses um and then it's got like a teal and a grain grey in it as well not too sure about that they did have some nice linen shirts again 18 pound they have them in a few different colors this stone color and it's got that collar where it's not like all the way it has a button at the top it's kind of just open a bit um but i really like this stone color um and they had it in a few other colors i think they had khaki as well um and then this shirt actually was cheaper this one is 15 pounds um and it's a nice stripe just a neutral stone and stone they've called it and white so like a beige and a white which I thought was a really nice um, striped shirt and they also had this striped shirt which I thought was really nice it's a nice muted like washed out tones it kind of looks linen-y but I don't think it is um, with four different colours because it's got a white, a light beige, a khaki and a light blue at £15 I thought that was really nice did see another jacket on um Sainsbury's this one was £18 and it's a long sleeve over shirt it says it's teal but it's not teal in my opinion unless it's a very dark teal this looks navy blue to me this um they call this a striped jumper but it's kind of like a polo shirt jumper because it's got the polo has it got a polo neck collar yeah it's got like a polo neck collar with buttons but I thought this was really nice as well this would be really nice just you could wear this both smart and like smart casual and casually and the last thing from Tui, Tui was Tui I don't know how to say it um was this navy half zip sweatshirt at £16 which is quite good for a navy um for a half zip quarter zip it says half zip but that is not half zip it's not like halfway down is it it's quarter um zip sweatshirt tell me down below if you've tried anything from Sainsbury's range I, I haven't tried anything from Sainsbury's um the only play only supermarkets that I've got anything from is um 
Tesco's, George, and if we're classing M&S as a supermarket, then M&S. Um, so let me know down below. I have got in the past some my niece and nephew some stuff from two two Sainsbury's, whatever it's called. Moving on to Morrison's, which is, their range is called Nutmeg. Didn't find too much on here. Mor Morrison's stuff seems to be a very, like, basic, but there was a few pieces that stood out to me, like this navy ditzy print shirt, which has got quite a nice pattern. Um, this was £14, so I suppose this is around, it's a little bit cheaper than the Sainsbury's pricing. Um, I did see this really nice sage green sweatshirt at £12. It's very similar to the Abercrombie one we saw in my last Spring Wish this video, which is really nice. I love anything like sagey, minty, tealy coloured. Um, so this was really nice. The only size they've got it at the time I'm filming this, which is the day before you watch it, is in XXXL. So maybe they'll have it in stores. I don't know. I would, I'm not sure. I don't really know how the Morrisons work with clothing. There's a fairly decent sized Morrisons in my town, but I've never gone in it. I've never really ventured into it, so I don't know if they even do clothing in my one. Um, this sage green t-shirt though, I also found only in two sizes again when I'm looking at it, but it is £4, so that's not too bad, but it's a very basic um, t-shirt. And then this shirt actually was a very good price, and I don't think it's sale or anything, but it's £8. Um, which is very comparable to Primark um, and it and like H&M I think. I think their pricing, I think their shirts last year were around the 7 99 mark so very similar to this um, and this was in a nice Hawaiian-y tropical um, print which they call it a floral barbecue BBQ shirt and I really like what they paired it with whether these are I'm not sure whether they're trousers or shorts because you can't really see but if they are shorts that's a very nice colour. Moving on to Tesco's, and I will link my Tesco video um, up there because I have fairly recently gone to Tesco's. They didn't really have much spring stuff out there, um, but done a shop with me there. So the only thing I can show you is what's on the Tesco website, which is kind of like an overview of some of the pieces they've got in. Because again, they do sell F and F on next, but not men's clothes. Um, so if you're looking for women's and kids, you can go over to F and F and you can buy it online there. They used to have a website for. Um, F and F on Tesco, but when they got rid of Tesco Direct, which was like their comparable version to Argos, um, the website for F and F I think also disappeared at that time. But they've got a very nice. Um, can I see the price of that? I don't think I can. Bomber jacket. Oh yeah, navy bomber jacket, at thirty pounds. I do find F and F prices are like probably around the same price as Sainsbury's. I think from just looking at Nutmeg and George are like here. Primark would be a bit lower than those, and F&F and, and Sainsbury's would be a bit higher than that, and then M&S would be higher than that, because like you're looking at £20 for jeans and stuff like that. They have got a really nice khaki Harrington jacket here, which is £20, and a nice navy colour block polo shirt, which has got a zip on it, really nice, um, and that is £14 and some chino sorts in teal and um, which do kind of look tealy coloured for £12 as well. I can only show you one picture of this because they've only got one picture. They've also got overshirts which we did discover. I think it was when I went before Christmas they had overshirts in there and this is £18. So very, I think that is kind of along the same line as George actually as well because when we just looked at those the adapt range were 20 and then no the adapt range was 26 and the other ones were 20 so yeah that's all I can show you from uh not Primark Tesco because that's all they've got. Moving on to M&S now M&S I found the most because obviously it is a clothing retailer um and it was UK's biggest but it's not anymore um I believe that's now been overtaken by ASOS um M&S is normally geared towards an older crowd um, and I think all the supermarkets kind of are, um, but I did find a lot of pieces on MS that I do want to share with you, because it's not normally a place that I would normally shop, and none of the supermarkets are. These are kind of, this bit of the video, or all of this video, is kind of a places that I don't normally shop at video. I've done one of those on Tesco's and one of those on George. I do want to physically go in a Sainsbury's and, not, and um, a Morrison's to see their selection. Um, again, don't know if the Morrison's around here 
has that, and my Sainsbury's definitely doesn't. So, but M&S I could go into, not at the moment though, because everything's been brought downstairs and there's not much of it. So with M&S, prices are going to be a bit higher. So first I found was this silk striped zip knitted polo shirt, and the price I'm seeing today is £24.50, but normally it's £35, so I don't know whether they've just got a saving. This is part of the autograph range, so it's a bit more expensive, um, and it's just a nice got a few stripes on it with a zip polo we've seen a lot of zip polos haven't we um and i do really also like this cotton color blocked knitted polo shirt which is got buttons all the way down can someone tell me the definition of a polo shirt is it what is the definition of a polo shirt tell me down below this um is 20 pounds 65 um originally it was 29.50 i do really like the colors of this it's really nice i like that denim jacket here next this is like in a black color this is 48 pound 30 which is higher than any of the other prices that we've seen in any of the other supermarkets one of them had i think it was either sainsbury's or morrison's had an overcoat in there like a beige tan overcoat which was 30 pound which seemed to be the most expensive thing this was this is 20 pound 30 originally 69 pound but again saying no what is this mns is a re clothing retailer which the stores the clothes and the home obviously dwarf what the food halls are but i thought this was really nice it kind of looks more over shirty than a denim jacket Another Harrington jacket, this is in faux suede in a nice navy colour, this is £48.30 instead of £69, but a really nice Harrington jacket, I wouldn't say that is a Harrington jacket because it's got like a collar, but each to their own and two big nice pockets on the side. This knitted polo shirt was really nice in like a colour block colour with TD and blue colours in it. This is £20.65, originally £29.50. They seem to have a sale on at the moment on M&S. This isn't um, in the sale though. This is a cotton leaf print shirt. This is £29.50. So whereas we saw the most expensive shirts previously in Sainsbury's at £18, M&S are obviously going to be more expensive. This is an autograph range which is going to be higher priced than the normal normal M&S stuff but I thought this was a really nice leaf print. This is the M&S collection pure cotton western corduroy shirt which could kind of be a bit over shirty but I think this is a bit thinner than that. I always find corduroy shirts a bit stiff um, but this is £29.50 which um, so this is the M&S collection rather than autograph so it was a bit cheaper but this is long sleeve as well. A, another well this another like they're calling this a rugby shirt, but I wouldn't really say this is a traditional rugby shirt. This is more like a long sleeve polo shirt, but this is £31.50 and it is pure lamb's wool as well. So I don't know if that'd be quite itchy. Um, this was originally £45, but it's a nice grey um, with a stripe across it in a lighter colour grey. They did have some shackets. We know shackets are very um, on trend at the moment. They're, they're calling this a utility jacket, which is just a thicker jacket, thicker shirt really. Um, this is £41.30, so quite a bit more than the other supermarkets. Um, originally it was £59, but it's in a really nice khaki green colour. This palm leaf print shirt I thought was really nice as well. Um, this one is quite a lot different to any of the other ones we've seen, where the palms are quite tightly compact in so from afar I think it would just kind of look grey um, but this was £25 and again they've got this utility jacket in like a tan colour this is again £41.30 really nice looks really thick and really good quality um, I did really like this t-shirt and I'm considering buying it it's kind of tongue-in-cheek on the whole pandemic situation saying you're still on mute because I am constantly saying that to my colleagues at work it's £12.50 which is again a bit more pricey than a t-shirt that you'd find in Primark or on other supermarkets but as it's m and I would hope it would be a better quality or at least thicker but again I like Primark quality t-shirts um this denim jacket um which I would say is more of an over shirt than a jacket it's like um a shacket rather than a traditional denim jacket this is very like the this is the same kind of as the black one we just saw this is £48.30 £69 I've just seen the deal which is 30% off jackets and coats which is why that's cheaper these shorts I thought were quite good they are like an elasticated chino so these are £15 so a bit more than what you would pay in like H&M but I think it's on pair 
on par with like Zara or um, ASOS. I thought they were really good. They're quite well. They look short on the like static image, but on the model they look a lot longer. But then they look I don't know. They look really nice and comfortable, and I think that was something that I would pick up. I might actually buy that. We might do a proper test out like haul of MS stuff. Let's see if we can do that. So next I thought this co premium cotton reserve reverve polo shirt at £25 was very similar to one we saw on Shein the other day. Again, I never I've never bought anything from Shein, so I can't testify on the quality of Shein stuff, but I would hope MS stuff is a bit more premium than that um, and at £25 for like a basic polo shirt you'd hope it would be um, but it does look really nice and then I saw this polo shirt which again I'm drawn to the teals um, this is really nice and I really like the contrast collar it's like a rugby shirt oh, it is described as a rugby top but it's like a short sleeve rugby top which we don't really see and I think um, I saw it in yeah so I saw it in a colour block situation with like a yellowy mustard, a white and then navy which is really nice with the white contrast collar, really nice um, and then there's another utility jacket here which I believe is a bit cheaper than the other ones we saw um, this one is a zip up one in a like navy but like dusty navy blue at £31.50, really nice um, and then they've kind of done a take on the stripe shirts that we saw quite a lot a few years ago um, this one is in like a really dark green and a na um, burgundy with white in it at £25 so that is actually cheaper than something that would be on ASOS or Top Man because they're normally the £30 to £35 range and um, then I saw this really nice paisley print shirt I'm not sure I would wear it but it looks really nice and this is £25 as well so yeah what were the things that caught your eye when we've looked through um, the different supermarkets and the clothing ranges that you, they have and let me know if you've tried anything from any of them. I'm particularly interested in Sainsbury's and Two or whatever it's called and Nutmeg because they're the ones I have not tried. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was a pretty long one but stay tuned for another one of these this week. Um, hope you're all well. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on the Instagrams down below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.